Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. You have baby Nigel and Noah together today and I'm going to get him changed and I want to chat with you guys while I do that. Also probably include somewhat of a tag. I didn't really think it out but I thought maybe I'll do a couple of the questions. Um, I believe a uh, spring flower but started the tag then I seen K times two nursery do the tag as well. So now I'm gonna try my hand at it just off off my off top of my head. And also, um guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you are subscribed to this channel by clicking the red subscribe button, giving this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment below. Please check in the description bar for any links. Um so anyway, both Noah and Nigel are prototypes, um, prototype two and three by Claire Teller. Um, they are the Willow Asleep and the Willow Awake sculpts. Um, and so I also wanted to say I just wanted to um, get back to the mindset that I was in before so let's get started so number one the tag is 10 things that you love about the hobby number one is of course I love the art of the hobby I love the fact that people are so talented that they can actually turn um, blank canvas or blank sculptures into real babies not necessarily breathing real babies but to look so real that they look like they're breathing um, I'm gonna attempt to change them with him here I probably can't I'll probably have to move Nigel and put him back that's what I'm gonna do after the fact and for obvious reasons I'm not gonna spray Noah's hair because if he's leaning against Nigel that won't be good so let me see. So we're going to get him changed. But number one, I love the art of it. I love, you know, seeing what um, different interpretations of the same exact sculpt is. I love um, seeing different sculpts um, where people just create, you know, freely of their own thoughts and some even of portrait babies, I, I, I enjoy those as well. Um, just seeing how close they get to the actual real baby is really cool. Um, number two, I just love dolls. Um, there are people that I follow that have like um, Ashton Drake's, Lee Middleton's. Um, what are those other dolls called? BJD's. Um, and I just love seeing the dolls. Now, I don't particularly like to collect all types of dolls, um, but I do love all dolls. I love seeing them. And I've always, even as a kid, was more into the, the more realistic type dolls as much as I could get. Or more life-size dolls, I should say. The tiny ones I was, like Barbies and stuff wasn't my thing. Number three, I love, um, now this, this is a, <laughs> we're just going to go over the positives <laughs> because it, it does come two ways, but I do absolutely love the way that the community bands together and stick together on, you know, different, at different times. Um, for instance, there are times where I remember one time there was a group of people like just steady attacking the reborn community and you know us with you know role playing and all that jazz and stuff and the community really was like all together like just no y'all not gonna come in here and destroy our community type thing and I, I really enjoyed that um that we could come together for you know stuff like that or not only that I love to see when a community do like um, fun tags and I like 
to see when the community does like even the things now I've gotten to the point and I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older but but I've gotten to the point where I even enjoy watching the the things like um is that a three month that Nigel have on because this this one feel a little tighter um but we'll see I'll check his his see but yeah um so I love I love the community when the community is really acting as a community um and then where did where how many I said art dolls community um <laughs> um what else do I love I love watching like really fun role play videos I love um the I, I love watching I love the uh back and forth like not back and forth like you know what I mean I love the the back and forth being able to chat with like-minded people in the community I love you know like the socializing part the social part of it it's like you know having all these online friends from all over the world I, I do enjoy that part um Although, you know, sometimes I have my guard up, I have met some really cool people. And it's, you know, it's been really fun to sit and just, like, chat with people. I love seeing the difference in people collections. Like, um, and I love, 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 love. Just like um, the others said, too, as well. I love the shopping part. I love being able to, and I have to say yes it, it is gonna sound similar to you know like k times two said that too that some of our answers are gonna say the same sound the same but i do love the fact that i'm able to do some of the things that i either i wasn't able to do um for financial reasons or just didn't have the space in my home at the time when i was having babies um stuff like that I, I love being able to um buy things stage them like you know like a real nursery stuff like that um I did have somewhat of a nursery set up a couple times with my babies but not the way that I would have liked it I still don't have my nursery the way that I would really like it if I really had it how I liked it I would have a personal designer come in and do the walls and everything but I wouldn't do that for just my hobby but like if I had the money I would probably do it for like my granddaughter type thing if I had that kind of money but yeah so I really and your socks is too all yellow so we're not gonna put you on those socks but yeah so I really really that are some of the things I enjoy. And the main thing that I love shopping for is the main accessories. I love shopping for diapers. I love shopping for um, sleepwear type clothes. It's some of my favorites. Um, pacifiers. And I think that's really it. I'm not huge on bottles and stuff like that I'm not huge on different types of like strollers or um baby furniture but I do like shopping for it when I need it I I pretty much I used to go to once upon a child to buy all my furniture because you know it was cheaper I could save money and you know find what I need because I needed somewhere for, you know, the babies to have somewhere to sit type thing, but they kind of start getting expensive and being as much as the new stuff. So I started buying my stuff new, but then when I start buying it new, you know, I gave away a lot of it to real babies after, over time, but now my collection is growing. I'm going to have to go back to shopping, but you know. That's kind of how how it works. So, no. 
All right, fine. Noah. There we go. We'll just take your arms down. They both have the elbow armatures and they both have drinking wet. But, um, did I even change his diaper? I didn't. I forgot to change his diaper. Crap. <laughs> I'm like, look at I'm like, their diapers are different. Okay. Do I want to go through all that? I'll just not worry about it. I could probably get it changed with him right here. Let's see. We'll try. I just wanted their diapers to be matching, at least. But yeah, so I don't know if I've named 10 things, but that is the big thing. And oh, for me as a YouTuber, I enjoy making videos. I enjoy doing chatting videos. I enjoy sharing my experiences. I enjoy um, the painting part. The painting part has become a big deal. Um, I almost enjoy the painting as much as I do the actual collecting itself. Um, so, you know, it's so many different um, facets to it. It's like, well, my most favorite thing is of the hobby. And this is on and off camera is being able to walk in the room and see a baby walk in the room and see a baby <laughs> meaning when i walk in the room i see a doll that looks so real all i see is a baby and i love that feeling when your heart just melts when you see them and my second favorite thing out of everything is even though I may not have a lot of time to do it for long lengths of time and I may not do it every day but one of the things that I do do is pick up and hold my dolls and I love being able to feel the weight of them and that they feel so realistic that it, it gives you that motherly feel when you when you pick them up. I mean, it, you just feel like you just picked up a real baby. I don't care how you try to fight that feeling, it's there. And um, so I really, really enjoy that part of it. Um, now, like I said, I don't necessarily feed them off camera. And I have, I have, I have, I've, you know, did it because, you know, I like the, the warm bottle. I tried out the warm bottle and see if it, actually will warm their diaper and um so I did that and before off camera but my main thing have been I do pick my babies up I do enjoy dressing them I love to see what they look like and I I also seem to have a thing about um collecting the same sculpt more than once seemed like I guess or painting the same sculpt more than once because my whole thing is that I just get a kick out of seeing how different they look in different you know like skin tones and different shading and stuff like that it just I don't know it's just always been a thing for me are you sleepy you want your tummy no 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 you don't want his tummy I just, it's like, I just don't want them to be like, there we go. I was like, I don't care. I just like, I just want to play. But yeah, these boys are, are good size. Let me see. You guys can see the whole them. very good size babies for dressing I meant to look and see what size yep here's this newborn too just seemed like it's cut a little bit more loose 
<laughs> so anyway, um, that's the boys. Let me take this out. So then you guys will match. Now, <laughs> you lost your socks. So yeah, it's uh, you definitely, and they share the same body, so they they are the same size. Their heads are the same size as well. Um, there are some things, like I said, it's different, and their face is slightly different. But they have the same nose. They have almost the same mouth, but um. Nigel mouth looks a little bit different, I think. Just a little bit. But it could be the also the way the lips are painted as well. I never know. Oh, this video's went too long. Okay. Let me end this. But I don't want to end this with his on turn his head so you can see his actual face. Alright. Alright. See you guys later. Bye-bye.